Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to the Smash Bros Showdown. In the last episode, we took the Brawl characters and we put them into a bracket and let them duke it out. And I'm going to be 100% honest, I was not expecting Mario to win that. Just because of, just, I thought Pit had it there, but apparently not. So, in this episode, we're going to be going to the Smash 4 showdown with the 21 newcomers that were in Smash 4. As you can see, there are a bunch of no-shows, which gives some characters buys, which is perfectly fine. But we got to get going because I'm doing this uh, during school time. And, well, I have open campus. And what that is is, like, you, you can leave school if you don't have a class. So I have two periods where I don't have a class, so I have about an hour as of I'm recording this. So, so <clears throat> so without further ado, if you do not if you do not know what the series is, I basically take every newcomer from every new or from every Smash Bros game and I put them into a bracket and I let them see and I see who becomes the big champion of each game. So basically who's the best fighter of each series. So for Smash 64, the winner was Ness, Smash Melee, Ganondorf, Smash Bros Brawl, Wario, and now we got Smash 4. So without further ado, we're going to be starting it with Smash 4 Showdown. Let's get started. So we got our first fight. Freaking Wii Fit Trainer and Little Mag. So Wii Fit Trainer and Little Mag. This is going to be good. Alright, we got a Legend Zelda stage. And who I want to win this? I want Lil Mac. Lil Mac is actually my main, or one of my mains, because I got Bowser as my other main. It looks like he's doing all right, as for the time being. I'm, I say that as he starts getting bullied. So, something I feel like I need to do with this is, I feel like I'm not talking a lot, and it's just, oh my gosh, Lil Mac is getting bullied. And I feel like I need to talk a lot more. So I had the idea of talking about each character and what changes they had from Smash 4 to uh, Smash Ultimate. And there it goes, Wii Fit Trainer's first stock. So let's get into Wii Fit Trainer. I am getting all this information from the Smash Wiki. So it's all 100% real because these guys are good. And Wii Fit Trainer was previously near a bottom tier character and has been buffed in many ways. But their moves such as deep breathing are far more reliable than they were before, strengthening Wii Fit Trainer's offense as well. Ooh, someone got a Final Smash, Wii Fit Trainer. Oh, Lil Mac, is this for, oh, Lil Mac's first stock. Oh, he just got his Final Smash too. Alright, there we go. Wii Fit Trainer's recovery has taken a small hit due to the distance change, but it can now fend out some projectiles off stage and give a extra bit of offstage survivability. Overall, Wii Fit Trainer is a much better character, but still has difficulty getting in. So, that's Wii Fit Trainer, so I'm gonna go find Lil Mac, and hopefully this won't take too long. Alright, Lil Mac has to get off his final smash. Oof. We, Lil Mac! This is the downfall of Lil Mac, right here. Oh, what's going on? Uh, wait. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I'm literally confused, and what the hell just happened? This could actually load, so I could talk about Lil Mac real quick. Lil Mac. The changes from Smash 4. Lil Mac has gained a mixed bag of changes during his tradition, or transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Oh my god, they both have the Final Smash. No way. No, why would you do that, Lil Mac? Lil Mac kinda got cucked right there. His dumbass didn't use a side B, which would have 100%, 100% would have saved his ass. But, without further ado, we're gonna head into Shulk versus Cloud. Ooh, this one's gonna be good. I didn't see what happened. So I have a friend who actually like, quote unquote, mains Shulk, and he's actually not bad with him, but the only thing he does is backslash, which is pretty annoying. So Shulk has a mix, Mixed, I received a mix of buffs and nerfs in his transition to ultimate, but it, but he was buffed overall, so being a pretty good freaking character. His infamous sluggish move set has sped up in multiple ways. Oh, there goes Cloud's first stock. Cloud's about to take his second, Shulk's second stock. I could have ended it. Alright, took his stock right there. 
Shulk's defining Monado arts have all been altered significantly. Now he's performed his. Ooh. There you go. Does that get to 200? It sure does not, does. <laughs> Shulk was recently, or pre previously a heavyweight. He's damaging long range and neutral attacks have been significantly toed down. So that is Shulk. I kind of like Shulk, to be honest, but I don't know. It's a pretty cool character. The way he uses Monado Arts is really interesting. Oh, Shulk got his final smash. If he could just not lose. <laughs> Alright, Cloud moves on because Shulk is really bad. Now we got a me fighter versus Bowser Jr. Me gunner. I went and just made a bunch of random Mii Fighters, so we got Walter versus Bowser Jr. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Walter is a bear. Alright. So I decided to say screw it because my computer, the computer I was using is hecka slow. So I feel like Bowser Jr. kind of got a little buffed in this game. Because maybe a little nerfed because I think Bowser Jr. is really good in Ultimate. But now he's kind of, eh, he's, he's not... Horrible by any means, but me gunner. All the me fighters are bad, so <laughs> that's what I feel like. Hey, I was just laying the hammer on. Him. I'm gonna try not to make it an hour. Ooh, me funner, me me funner, me gunner just tried to do a fat spike on Bowser Jr., but Bowser Jr. freaking laid the him laid the wood. Oh, that was pretty good. By the Wii Fit train. Or not Wii Fit train. What am I talking about? Wii Fighter. Me Fighter. Oh my god. I can't even words right today. Oh, Bowser Jr. got his final smash. And oh, so close to death. But Walter is hanging in there. Walter got off his final smash. Oh. Bowser Jr. got lucky right there. Oh, not enough, <coughs> not enough power on the up smash, or the up B, which is big sad. I think Bowser Jr. is going to take this one. Keeps grabbing him. Oh my god, that was a smart play by Bowser Jr. right there. So Bowser Jr. takes battle number five. He's going to be taking on another Mii Fighter. Bayonetta and Greninja in the next one. So now... Ryu and Rosalina. This one should be a little interesting. Oh, Ryu is not enough power. Oh, we did. I didn't know you could go from side B to up B like that, but apparently you can. Oh my god, Rosalina. Rosalina showing no mercy. Oh my god. Rosalina, what? Oh, what? 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 Okay. Hmm. She definitely had a huge lead. She's about. Oh, I was gonna say, she's about to blow it again. What's she doing? Were you guys found Smash? Ooh, hit her right where it counts. It doesn't matter though, because she didn't die. Oh, the Ruma died, so Rosalina's pretty much useless without the Ruma. The Ruma. Ruma. Duma Shuma. Rosalina got her off and found her smash. Ryu's not dead. Yes, he is. Oh my god, Rosalina. This is big crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, that footstool. That was disgusting. So, Rosalina is the dirtiest fighter in this so far. So, we got... Rosalina versus Palutena. Another couple of buys. Sorry, gotta do them like that. So we got Lucina and Villager. We're playing on Brinstar. I remember... Is this Brinstar? Yeah. So I finally got the things back. So we're going to continu continue talking about each fighter. So, much like Marth, Lucina highly benefits from the universal changes in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Particularly in terms of Aerial until its addition, the new engine is also benefited to Lucina's Balance Blade. Which is much more, which has a much more greater range than Mars. 
and uh, close, co close combat capability, capabilities and advantages in certain situations. She is much, slightly more similar to Marth and all that jazz. Yeah, oh, oh, villager, ouch. Ouchie, mommy. Ooh. I really like villager. So I feel like I want him to win this game. <laughs> that may be a horrible reason, but whatever. I do not care. So Villager received a mix of bunch, buffs and nerfs in tradition and transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate. One of Bi Villager's biggest buffs was his change with Pocket Nut, which not only can store items indefinitely, which also allows Villagers to act faster after pocketing an item. Hmm, I didn't even know that. Changes to the... Ooh, big wolf. Villager needs to get going on... Oh my god, he's only on his last stock? Where did I go wrong? Changes to games. Physics also notably benefit Viz Villager's playstyle. Oh, there he goes. God, I finally got his first stock. Bro, he's not a horrible character. He's just... He's also one of those characters you never expect to smash because you gotta come up with a whole like customized. Uh, oh, is that? Oh my gosh, this game just got close. Oh my god, uh, villager! As long as he doesn't freaking choke, build your house, villager! What are you doing, my guy? Why don't you build your house? Build a house on him. Villager, you freaking nerd. Build your house. Why are you just chilling there? Build your house. You're gonna die. Oh my god. He's literally... This villager is literally a dumbass. If you didn't know, when villager light rides that little rocket right there, the, he does more damage when he's on it instead of it's just like flying zooming across the land can villager pull off the biggest upset all right now upset biggest comeback in smash bros ultimate showdown history nope <laughs> all right villager blowing one of the biggest games he had because he had a freaking final smash which he didn't use because he's a dumb nut all right so now every fighter is in now so let's get back to we fit trainer and mega man Mega 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 Man. Mega Man has noted has noticeably been buffed overall in his transition from Ultimate. Most of his projectile attacks have longer range and less ending lag, with several notice, notable examples. But his specific position related to the rest of the cast is clearly unclear. I feel like Mega Man is a decent fighter. Very very awesome that they put him in though, because. Oh, that would have killed right there. <laughs> Good thing that platform is there to save Mega Man's bass. Ooh! That tech off that wall! Freaking smacked Villager in the mouth. Ow. Oh my god. I didn't know that did that much. Damn. This is a good fight. So my first experiences with the Mega Man is when my friend used to play him. And he had an amiibo of Mega Man. And I used to always say, because you have an amiibo, you use that amiibo because you don't know how to play the game. And I may have been just a little salty because that amiibo is kicking my ass every four seconds. But whenever he played as him, he'd always lose. So I'm like, it's got to be because he's got the amiibo. Oh, watch out. He's dead. Mega Man is El Dead. El Dedo. El Piscado. I don't even know what I just said. Can you spike him? Oh, that would have been a deep spike and I would have creamed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Mega Man needs to come out and show her, show her who's boss. He's at 71.1, 78.1, and she just lost her second stock, so now I'm the last. Why did you just heal when you had no, no damage? Oh. That was a nice stick for that. Ooh, ooh, Mega Man. Ooh, Mega Man. Oh my god. Mega Man? 
I know, last time I said that. Mega Man, get out of the way. Out of the way. No, Mega Man, you're still in the way. Ooh, Mega Man knows what's up. Still ran right into it, but you know, who cares? At least he didn't take the full blow of everything. Of all the yoga positions. Oh, Mega Man. Oh my god. What was that spike? <laughs> he does not put himself in this position right now. Oh my god, Mega Man. Mega 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 Man. The blue bomber. Blue freaking bomber. Oh my. Oh, sorry. This is an intense game. Whoever win this is gonna go far for sure. 172 and 134. Four. I'm gonna try to use it. Oh my god! There's no way Mega Man just won that. Oh my god. Now we got a Cloud versus a Me Sword Fighter. Yeah, Cloud versus Dwight. Dwight is based off Cameron. Because look at his, his skin. And Hubert. Wait, who Hubert? Oh, shoot. I think I'm Hubert. I don't even know. But the other one that just fought was based off Derek. Oh, God dang, Cloud. I, I, I think Cloud could win this. I do not like this stage. The music is annoying. Go Spike and Nerd. Spike and Nerd. Uh. Spike and Nerd. Uh. Or Foot Swim. That's also dirty. Ooh. The White has his final smash. Oh, if he didn't hit him, that would have been Gonzo, Bonzo. Cloud needs to use his limit. Oh, there go Cloud's first stock. Oh, Cloud got his final smash. Ooh, boo, oh, bully. Oh my god, he just freaking intercepted him. Yeet. Nope, never mind. I thought that I thought limit was something completely different. It was Cloud's first second stock. But Cloud already has it, so on to the next fight. Alright, Cloud will be facing Mega Man in the semifinals. So Bowser Jr. has to take on another V fighter. And that V fighter is no other, none other than Hubert. Which represents me. But I got some wacky ass here going on. What's that? I do not like these Mii Fighters voices. Foot, oh, <laughs> getting a lick in that booty. Oh, hot them cheeks, my guy. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, Bowser Jr. Showing a coming a little rest, being a little rusty at the beginning of the game, but now showing no mercy. Oh my God, he keeps grabbing him. Oh, saved himself by a hair of his toe, inch of his toe, toe, toe. toe. How does that go? Hair on his chinny chin chin. There it goes. <laughs> Why was I saying toey toe toe? Bowser Junior survive. I thought maybe for some reason Bowser would survive, but. So imagine if Bowser Jr. like played exactly like Bowser. <laughs> like his side B and everything. <laughs> Freaking slaps. What's he doing? Trying to walk off the stage. Oh god. He just laid those balls on his face. Nice parry by Bowser Jr. A 
I kind of like the whole design of Bowser Jr. has with his, oh shit, his fork. <laughs> Bowser Jr. was hungry for that win, as you could obviously tell at the bot at the end of the thing, because he was going to stab him. Bayonetta and Greninja. Bayonetta being considered one of the best Smash Bros. 4 fighters ever. Because of her freaking combos, brother. She goes into her multiple jabs and the A button, and then she goes into her up B and then her side B, and then freaking craziness. Oof. Oh gosh. I feel like Greninja gonna have a good chance of winning this. I say as he only almost did himself. He almost SDs. And if you didn't notice, I also turned on I turned on Final Smash meters because Final Smash balls are kind of annoying just to watch people go and get it, so. Ooh! Ooh, Greninja! Ooh. I didn't notice I can I didn't know you could use your, his side B like that. To gain a little more coverage and then use your up B. It's pretty cool. Greninja showing me a whole new bag of tricks he's got up his sleeve. Ooh, Greninja. Oh my god, he got it. Turns into Ash Grenibla. Is this close to death? Oh my gosh, it is. Could we possibly See the first three stock in Smash Showdown history. Okay. <laughs> oh, Bayonetta got her final smash. And it's not gonna work, I don't think. Never mind. That's spooky as fudge. So while we while this fight is finishing. I want to explain what I plan on doing for... Oh my god. She's just three up smashes in a row. Two or three up smashes in a row. I want to explain what's going to be going on with the series. So after this, we have the Smash Ultimate Newcomers, which is about 16. And after that, we have the, the championship round with all five fighters. But I'm going to add a sixth episode, and then episode seven will be the championship. Cause so I can so it could be six or three or six people. My bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add Echo Fighters with their pr perspective fighter. So I'm gonna add. Oh, this is the game. All right, Greninja will be taking on Bowser Jr. in the semifinals. Rosalina and Paulutena. Like I was saying. I will be adding Echo Fighters for episode 6 and then episode 7 will be the championship with the Echo with all 6 of the fighters. I did make a mistake on what I was saying. I'm not going to I'm just going to be adding the Echo Fighters, so that'll include Daisy, Lucina, Krom, uh whoever the other Echo Fighters are. So all those will be in their own bracket and then after that, we will get on to the championship and see who the best fighter in Smash Bros. history is. So, yeah. Hope you guys are excited. I'm freaking pumped. And Rosalina just died. <laughs> this could be a long episode. <clears throat> and is Rosalina? Oh, that shoe saved Rosalina's life and is about to end her life. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we, ab are we about to see the first three stock? Rosalina's a big dumb dummy and just killed herself. <clears throat> I feel like we could possibly see the first three stock in Smash Bros. history. Smash Bros. Showdown history. Why oh, is she spamming? Oh, god dang it. I want to see the first three stock. Palutena had a big chance of that happening. Is she about to kill herself? I was going to say, oh my god. This game is horrible. <laughs> Get out of there. They need to give her a new Final Smash for Christ's sake. That is so bad. This game's over, so we can just head on to the next one. 
Yep. Well, I was really surprised on how well Rosalina played against Ryu, so I thought maybe she'd do pretty good against Palutena. Nope. Two Fire Emblem characters going against each other. Corn, Corn, and Robin. In a Mario stage. <laughs> That's funny. I honestly don't think I've ever played as Robin before. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Because normally when I play as friends, play with friends, I always do random. We always do random, so we always get completely different fighters. So I, Corn is dead. El Dedo. What, what I don't understand is why there's a boy and girl counterpart. Oh, um, what? Wait, what? Why didn't he jump? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. My question is, but why is there boy and girl counterparts for these Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Fire Emblem characters? Because Robin has a girl part, and Corrin has a girl, and Marth has a girl. I think that's the only ones, but. Like, I understand villagers, because there can be girl and boy villagers, but I don't understand that in Pokemon Trainer, too. Who else is there? Robin is L dead. L dead. Oh, this was the... These CPU fighters are not the brightest bulbs in the box. He could have easily just landed on... Land... <laughs> To say, oh my god, landed on that platform, but nope. What are you gonna do? He wanted to make this harder than harder on himself than it already is. I don't even know what his final smash is, so can you like pull it off? Because I want to see what it is. Oh, this is a game right here. Whoever lands their final smash. Oh, oh yeah, he uses Chrom and. This doesn't make any sense because you're fighting as Krom. Krom still Krom beats himself up. Corn, use your final smash, my god, my god, my god, my, my, my G. I'll get through one of these. All right, Robin taking that. You seen it in Duck Hunt? So this is probably what's going to happen with this episode. This episode will probably take me a few more days to get out because, oh, that's counter. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, Thursday, and I have to go back to class in like 20 minutes, or I have to be back before the bell rings, so like, give or take 20, 25 minutes, and Oh, duck hunt. And I was going to do it ninth period because I can come home again and just finish it there. But I'll have to probably wait until Friday to finish it because I ha the our school is doing a play this week and I got invited to go watch the matinee for it. So I'll be doing that. So this will be up are recorded in two separate days which is something I've never done before unless all of a sudden they finish in 20 minutes which I don't think they will but <laughs> the guy has fun smash oof Ursina oh no duck hunt <laughs> oh no this is not how we wanted Duck Hunt to go out. Oh my god. That was the first three star in Smash Showdown history and it goes to Lucina. So Lucina's showing us that she's freaking crazy. I'm gonna take on this whole tournament. So we got Pac-Man and Dark Link. Or Dark... Dark Pit, my bad. Also Pac-Man is like one of those fighters he had to come up with a customized roster for. Our customized uh, move set for him. So Dark Pit would also be in that that Echo fight. So Dark Pit's gonna get two fights in a row. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> pretty good matchup right now. Obviously Pac-Man. Pac-Man placing down the fire hydrant. Oh my god, that's close. Oh my god, Pac-Man. Getting a little teased right there. Oh, he's Pac-Man. Pac-Man blue. 
All right, one stock each. It's another one of those to the side. It's OG, O O O V, Ova. I say OG. An L stupido. The dark pit. Can hit this. Oh my God, it's over. So dark pit being a little cheeky takes that one. And now on to round three, not the semifinals. I lied. We got Mega Man and Cloud Strife. Oh, Mega Man, that was pretty cool. I feel like Cloud. Oh, yeah, he can still. Oh my god, Cloud's a dumbass. <laughs> Mega Man, what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna join him in the pit. I didn't. I, when I played the stage, I didn't even notice you could stand on those clouds, which. Cloud standing on cloud. Oh my god, it's Cloudception. Is Cloud gonna stay on that cloud for longer now? <laughs> Mega Man's dead. Is Cloud dead? Nope, not yet. Oh my god, he's literally about to do the same thing again! <laughs> Cloud, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> is he about to do his limit right there? Oh my god, he is. Okay. <laughs> Sick. Did you spike? Mega Man heading to the semifinals against Bowser Jr. or Greninja. Let's see this. Wait. Say, what was his plan right there? <laughs> this battle's not doing much right now. Just going at each other. Oh, there goes the first stock. As I start saying, this fight is a little boring. I feel like this is where Greninja takes his first stock. Yep. Alright, 2v2. God, why do I keep saying that? It's 1v1, but two stocks each. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Why do I keep saying that? Oh, this could be Bowser Jr.'s second stock right here. Is it? It is going to be. Bowser Jr. playing so well these past two fights. Greninja playing well against Bayonetta. It's a good match. Why are they not like touching each other? That's not what I meant, but like. Oh, that was a nice hit by Bowser Jr. Ooh. Dead. Alright. One stock each. This is getting close. Ooh, Bowser Jr. Oh, man. This is not going to do much, but it'll do enough. Alright, pretty even matchup right now. Does bumpers do, do bumpers do damage? I guess if they do, I never noticed. Ugh. Oh, Grenade just tried to do a spike, I think. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, man. Man, I feel bad for Bowser Jr. He played so well against the Mii Fighters. And then Greninja showed up to wreck his day. So, I'm going to have to cut it right here because I got to go back to school. It's 11 o'clock while this is recording and we're already at 51 minutes. So, I will be back in like one second for you and a day for me. So, yeah, I will see you guys then. All right, everybody, I am back and we are about to head into Politana versus Rob or yeah, Politana versus Robin. But before we get started, the... You remember how I said last time that one second for you guys would take a day for me? Well, actually, one second for you guys took three days for me. <laughs> the reason is, is because uh, I'm a chorus and we have this contest thing on by the time you, you watch this, uh, this Saturday. So we've been practicing and getting our stuff memorized and i had a lesson the day i was planning on doing it and then then on um, the then i had another lesson so i couldn't really do it so i had to wait till today and okay at least i got time so with that further ado ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and waste no more time because the first part was 51 minutes so i'm not going to try and make this a three and a half hour thing but this is not going to be three hours long so let's just go on in all right, Palatina versus Robin. Oh my God, Robin. You don't really see the Paper Mario stage that much as you really think you would. 
It's a really cool stage. I really do like how it involves uh, Paper Mario Superstar being one of the worst Paper Mario games. I do want to let's play that game sometime, but yeah, I have to finish it first. <laughs> I have a problem. I uh, go to play games, and then I never finish them. It's a problem I need to fix. Because <laughs> there are a heck of games that I need to finish, but I just don't feel like playing them. You feel what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Is this going to be a... Sp oh, Palatina showing no mercy. A 69%. Sorry. I don't think I've ever used Robin before. I might have used him once. But I don't think I really used him before. Oh, Robin got his final smash. Let's see if he nails it. Oh my god, Robin! Robin still's got his final smash can you use. Oh, this part could get a little. Oh, let's say this part could get a little risky. If they both get down to the fret last stock, I feel like it's gonna be a pretty close game. Which she almost did right there. Oh my god, Palutena did the f second time! She oh, it's like, what is Robin doing? <laughs> oh, what? I'm lost at what just happened. <laughs> I guess I didn't really know. <laughs> okay. Lucina and Dark Pit. Still very confused on what Palutena did. She, did she do her uppy and then, like, miss the ledge or something? Okay, Dark Pit's spamming a little bit. Kind of making me a little mad, because if you know me, I hate spammers. If you don't know how I uh, edit these videos, I what I do is I put, like, obviously the parts where I talk, but then I edit all the parts out where I'm just, like, watching, and I put some of the highlights on of each match. I mean, it's not a bad way to edit, but, I mean... I kind of go off of what uh, this YouTuber named Al Alpha Rad does for his CPU tournaments. I pretty much just watch his and see what he does for his, and I'm just like, okay, I'll just do some of what he what uh, his videos are. Dang that grab! Palutena, or not Palutena, Lucina just got her final smash too, and then Dark Pit took it away, and then, is that an also another grab? An up throw? I don't even know, but Dark Pit got his, his, freaking, oh my god, oh my god, no way did Dark Pit just do that, no way, zero to death, baby. I also want to think when I did this as like a little test run, I think Dark Pit won but I don't want, I want to say maybe he didn't. But I'm not 100% sure. Have the fight in there. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, Dark Pit could be going down. Oh, that uppy is pretty good. Hmm. This is a very close ending. Dark Pit up one stock. Palutena, or god dang it, Lucina could finish him at any time. Or take a second stock at any time. Maybe she was trying to save it for his when sh she when he loses his second stock, use it, get a little bit of damage on. Oh, okay, never mind. She freaking came in right there and, and clapped him. But I think Dark Pit has this. Is this it? That's it. Oh my God, that missed. Wow, Lucina's playing all the tricks. But is that? Enough to take down Dark Pit. I don't know. Is this game gonna ever, ever end? I don't think so. Cena still wants this. She's going all out. 
She wants this super bad. That was kind of a spike, I guess. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, no, not yet. 217.4. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. All right, Dark Pit moves on to the semifinals. Ooh, Mega Man and Greninja. This is weird. I didn't expect Mega Man to be in here. Mega Man and Greninja. I like Greninja in this fight, to be honest. Could he be the first Pokemon to take it home? Damn. Oh my god. Greninja. Chill out, brother. Oh my god, Mega Man. Chill out, brother. Oh my god, Mega Man. Alright, I think I made it just jinxed. Uh, oh, well, well. There goes Mega Man's question. Nope, no. Oh god, foot stool. I don't know why. I feel like if Mega Man was to be a Pokemon, he'd be a normal type. Because then he can use all. He can use a steel move, or a grass move, a fire move, an air flying move, air flying move. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought of that. And I was like, hmm. He could be maybe even a normal fighting. Is there a normal fighting? I believe there is. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played a Pokemon's games. We need to take this first stock real soon. Otherwise, he's going to be in a rude awakening. I'm trying to get that. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, Mega Man got his too. Oh my, Greninja almost walked right into it. Oh, there we go. Now, if he puts on a few more damage. Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we know who the clear winner is, so I think I might just skip to the uh, the kill, unless something crazy happens. Oh man, this kind of got a little crazy right now. Each on the oh, that didn't kill. Oh, it did kill. Okay. Each on the last stock, with Mega Man having a severe advantage. Oh, that's it. Mega Man has been freaking. Outstanding and is about to head to the finals the championship game All right with that Mega Man is head is heading to the championship round to face either Robin or Dark Pit Let's get into this I'm on the bridge of Elden Dark Pit played like he did last round. And he's gonna have this in the bag It's gonna be a good match whoever Mega Man plays Well that heals me Again, I've never played in, if I've played with Robin, or not Rob, Robin, it's been like, maybe like the first few weeks I've gotten Smash. <laughs> Other than that, I don't freaking remember <laughs> anything that Robin does. <laughs> Robin. Oh my god, Robin, what the hell just happened? Dark Pit needs to do something quick. And just keep spamming arrows, so eventually one of them will kill like that one did. Ooh, Robin got his final smash. He's gonna bring out Chroma Dome. He sure. Oh, Dark Pit. Oh my. Is that gonna kill? Oh my god. Dark Pit, no way. Is this gonna. What's gonna happen? Oh. Robin, no way you just did that. Oh my god. There's no way Robin just did that. What a dumb ass. Mega Man versus Dark Pit. It's gonna be hecka good. Alright, let's get into the final battle to see who is the best Smash Ultimate player. Which I didn't expect any of these players to be. <laughs> All right, not Smash Ultimate, Smash 4 players. Oh my god, Mega Man, showing no mercy. Oh my no. Oh my gosh. Say, if Mega Man gets another one like that, I can't even. I wouldn't even be able to believe it. Mega Man's trying to keep him towards the ledge. Or the edge. Same difference, I guess. Not really, probably not. I'm done. Sorry. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh my No way. Dark pit. Is Dark Pit really going to blow it like this? I don't believe it. I really don't believe this right now. Okay, yeah, there's... Oh, no, not yet. Oh, you are kidding. Mega Man just three-stocked Dark Pit. What just happened? What just actually happened? I am actually shook right now. Wow. I did not expect Mega Man at all to win that. I gotta say that. Wow. Well. Smash 4 Showdown. What a complete turn of events. Mega Man 3 Socks. That's crazy. Well, next time on Smash Showdown, we head to the Smash Ultimate roster and we see who is the best ultimate character out of the 12 that are there. 12, 13, give or take. Honestly, I might wait because I saw that Joker was going to be released in April sometime. So I honestly might wait for that. What I could do is I'll do I could do Echo Fighters first and then wait until we actually know when Joker's getting revealed. So, yeah, that was Smash Four Showdown. That was crazy. Can't believe that Dark Pit got three stuck by Mega Man. I did not think Mega Man would even get this far. I honestly thought he was gonna lose to Cloud. Wait, did he play Cloud? Yeah, he did play. Yes, he did play Cloud. Yes, he played Cloud. <laughs> That's crazy. Dark Pit, on the other hand, played very well against Robin, played very well against Lucina, and Pac-Man also. Freaking crazy. But with that out of the way, congrats, Mega Man. You somewhat deserved it. Not really, I guess. Actually, you probably did. You freaking kicked Dark Pit's ass. I mean, I guess they were playing close to the edge, so I mean, one hit, pretty one good hit, pretty much. Like, kills him. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the Smash Echo Fighter Showdown next time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And remember, stay sexy because you're the real MVP. The man, the myth, the legend. The person who I take my driving lessons from. Yeah. Derek Bell. Get out of the room. You should have told me. I had a remote at home. Well, I hear it. Come on. She's just got it then, you gooch. I didn't know we were going to use yeah, it. Yeah, you Gucci. I didn't know Ginger was going to come. You Gucci mama. Whoa. Yeah, I'm always coming. <laughs> <laughs>